Hey there, are you looking into lead generation services? Do you need more leads for your business? Well, this is a general overview of how that process works. There's a lot of people that have in their head how they think it should work. Maybe they just need some ads. Maybe they need to do some cold calls. Whatever they you know, are thinking they need to do, I'm going to show you in this video how I do it and how my company does it. A little about me, I manage $4 million a year in lead generation uh, money. So we typically focus on paid traffic, but there's a lot more aspects to it. Uh, we manage millions of dollars doing that. We have uh, dozens of clients. And this is sort of how I wish more clients would create their lead generation machine. This isn't necessarily the best fit for all clients, but if you are at this position, it's a great fit for you. So who is it a fit for? Do you already have customers? If you don't have customers, this I wouldn't recommend spending money and time and effort into building this machine yet. Go get customers the most direct way, uh, which involves maybe warm outreach, you know, go into your network, see who you can help quickly. Um, but once you have a number of customers or have had a number of customers, maybe you've been in business a year or more, and you're planning probably for the next 12 months ahead, you have annual plans, you're, you're running quarterly plans, right? You're, you're sort of professionalizing the business a little bit. Uh, this is when this, what I'm going to show you here uh, is perfect for and who we like to work with because we can, we have a playbook and we know we can go in and deploy our frameworks and increase your ROI of your marketing spend uh, within 12 months or it's free. But you got to be at that planning for the 12 months stage. You can't be trying to feed yourself next week because this is probably going to take longer than a week to build all these pieces. So a long-term uh, view and you already have customers. Why that's so important is because you need to make sure your product market fit. You have an offer that people want to buy. And then what this machine does is it amplifies your offer. So we have your customer or your prospective customer here. Uh, they're on the internet. They're looking around, right? Boom. They're on a web page. So I called it paid traffic lead to sale. I consider all of this paid traffic, even SEO is technically, you paid someone probably to write it. You paid to uh, build your website. You didn't have to do those things, right? That's really paid traffic. It's just the ROI. How far did your dollar go? But most people think of ads and they think of paid traffic, which we're very good at running. But there's also SEO content email. You got to pay emails, even though you might be able to send more emails. Your CPMs might be lower on emails than ads. You're still measuring in CPM, CTRs, right? Conversion rates uh, and DMs, cold DMs, warm DMs. So some way or another, your prospective customer needs to see one of these from you, your ads, your SEO, uh, right? A link on Google organic search. They need to see your content on social media or on YouTube. Maybe they signed up for your email, so they need to see your emails. Or maybe you just reach out to them directly through DMs. Boom, they click. And you send them to a landing page, hopefully. And that's what I always recommend is a purpose-built landing page for the job. Sometimes maybe you do just want to send them to your homepage, like for SEO, maybe uh, your homepage is where they're going to go because that has the most SEO juice. Juice, But if you notice on SEO, you, there's also site links to maybe send them to a more directed page. The The point of a landing page is, because, is it has one outcome that you're driving them towards. What's that call to action? What's the one thing you want them to do? Here, I use the example of a form because I work a lot in lead generation. So this isn't for like e-commerce. This is more for getting a lead and getting them on the phone and trying to close somebody in a sale. On the left there, you have a video or you can have an image. Under that, some bullet points of you know what uh, you want them to take away. This isn't necessarily a landing page masterclass, but that's generally the best practices of a landing page, right? They fill out the form, boom, go into your CRM, your database here. Got to make sure we're capturing their information. Maybe you already have them in there, but then you want to update. So a piece a lot of people miss. If they're already in your CRM, you want to update their records and whatever they did. Maybe they're more interested, which you'll see uh, here in a second, uh, or less interested, or they came in through a new way, right? But once you have them there, you want to call them immediately. Within two minutes, within five minutes, you need to get them on the phone. If they're qualified, there's a lot we can do on the form to make sure they're qualified so that you do call them. 
right? Qualify them, set an appointment, get them on the phone with the closer, make the sale. If for some reason they don't answer, you don't have someone to call, uh, like you don't have a salesperson, then you can go to retargeting. So you start sending them retargeting ads saying, hey, come back to the site, finish, you know, whatever you were doing. Uh, don't you want to do business with us? You also want to start them on an email sequence over here, a nurture sequence. They're thinking about you. So you want to keep them warm, at least in that decision cycle. Maybe it takes someone in your industry 30 days to make a decision, so you're going to want all the emails to go out within the 30 days. Maybe take them six months. Maybe it's an MBA graduate degree, and maybe they're making the decision right now, but maybe they're getting ready for 12 months from now, right? And it usually takes more than one email, right? Maybe two. Actually, it usually takes more than two emails. Maybe three emails. Maybe on that third email, they click the link and they go to the landing page, or they do something else. Uh, that makes you that sends you a signal that says, "Hey, we should call this person because they just ha they just gave us another buy signal." So get them on the phone. Maybe you try to call them, maybe they don't answer. So you send them another email. Maybe in that email they go to a different page that you linked. Right? Boom. So that gives you a buy signal that maybe you don't call them because maybe you try to call them or maybe it was a different type of buy signal. But now they're gonna come off of that main email track onto a secondary email track. Now you have two email tracks going. You know, some people are going to stay on the main track, some people are going to jump to this other track. And you might have multiple tracks going at one time. Maybe in the second email track they do another action, a signal another give you another buy signal, boom, call them for a third time, right? But other people, you're still putting them on that main track. Eventually, that track is going to extinguish if they don't take any actions or somehow get themselves back into this loop. You want to scrub them from your email list so they don't hurt your deliverability. They don't hurt your stats. You're clearly not interested or maybe the decision cycle has moved on. Uh, it's, it's past. It's been six months and the decision cycle is only three months, something like that. So you scrub them from your list. So who should you hire to do all this? How many jobs even is all this? Uh, well, more than you're probably thinking, I get a lot of people who think that one person can do all of this. And theoretically, yes, you could hire a virtuoso, what we might call a full stack marketer to set all this up for you, hands on keyboard, they do the implementation, but it's going to be very expensive, or it's going to be very time consuming, or it's not going to be set up very well. So typically the ads and the retargeting is going to be one person. Your SEO content and email can be another person. A writer could write all of this for you. So one writer, uh, they could also write the content for the landing page. Uh, DMs is typically going to be a third person. That's probably going to be the same person as your closer or a, a salesperson or your appointment setter can send out the DMs. Your landing page design is going to be potentially a uh, fifth or a fourth person or maybe even a fifth person. You might need a web developer to do it. Uh, you might need a designer to design it. Maybe the person who did the ads can help you. So there's a number of people that could possibly contribute to the landing page. You're going to need someone to set up all of this automation on the back end, this system of where do the leads go? How do we tag them? How do we know when they took a different action? And then what does that action mean? So you got to map all this out and then you got to code it either in go high level, click funnels, you know, some kind of software. You're going to have to build all this. And then, of course, you need your closer. You need an appointment setter. You need your qualifier. You need a closer. You need salespeople as well. So one, two, three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six potential, maybe even seven, eight potential people uh, to set all this up, which is quite a lot of work. And then on top of that, you really need someone in charge of it, a CMO, a uh, chief marketing officer, or even a chief revenue officer uh, if the sales is part of it, which there tends to be which is tens, which is what we do. That's actually what we do. Electro Raven. Uh, we can manage all of this for you. We have all of these team members and all this expertise, but you can see that it's not just one person. So if you expect to hire an individual for $10, $15, $20 an hour to set all of this up, it's quite a lot. It's quite complicated. It's not going to be very good. If you want quality, uh, then this is sort of the route you need someone to map it out. You need someone to set the strategy and then they can find the experts. They can find the subject matter experts and the people who actually implement it. Boom, Electro Raven, that's us. WROI in six months or it's free. 
if you're interested in something like that, send me an email, luke at lukefun.com. I hope that was illuminating for you. I hope that clears up a little bit maybe what you need. And if uh, it makes sense for us to work together and we can give that to you, that'd be great. Anyways, take a great, uh, have a great day. I hope you learned something. Talk later.